Hello, this is John Roberts from Pivotal Software, and this is a quick update on Pivotal Greenplum on Azure. Version 4.2 was just published contains Pivotal Greenplum 5.20.1, as well as Command Center 4.7.0. CentOS has been upgraded to 7.6, and there's a new deployment parameter to specify if the master node will have a public IP address or not. That's something that's been requested quite a bit from different customers. There's also been enhancements to the cloud native tools, GP Optional and GP Snap. So here is the product listing showing the two different uh, listings available for Pivotal Greenplum on Azure. You can either use the BYOL product, which is bring your own license, or pay by the hour. Um, for the demo, we'll just stick with the BYOL product. You can see the listing itself showing that it's a 4.2 template and it's using deployment version 5.20.1 of the Greenplum database. Some important information here regarding the um, the different instance types that are available and how much, how many vCPUs as well as the data disks um, that are going to be used. And you can use that to calculate how large your cluster will actually be in terms of terabytes. The more detailed information regarding uh, the cluster and configuration are available in the release notes. And it actually shows you a calculation on how to determine your usable storage. I highly encourage you to, to check out the release notes. There's quite a bit of information here um, showing you how to use Greenplum on Azure. There's also a one-page overview document that's available, so you can share that with others. And of course, the reference guide, which is applicable to Greenplum running anywhere, whether it be on-premise or in the cloud. So let's get it now. and we'll create the cluster. So the name of the deployment can be virtually anything, three to 10 characters. You can leave it green plum if you like for default. Provide a public key and then create a new resource group. Moving forward, you can see the new parameter for internet access, whether or not you want to specify the master node will have IP address or not. And then there's also uh, the subnet mask uh, that you can usually leave default, but if you'd like to change that to make a different subnet, I, subnet um, mask for your cluster, you can do that. Here you can change the instance types. We recommend the H16 over the others if, if available. Um, if not, the D14 V2 works pretty well too. You can pick the number of nodes, either a single node or one master up to 32 segment nodes and the disk size itself, 500 to um, 16 terabytes per disk. And here are the optional installs, the Command Center, Data Science Python, Data Science R. So these are all, you can install these after the fact with the GP optional tool, or you can install them at, at deployment time. Either way works. Runs a final validation. And now you can accept the terms from Microsoft and also Pivotal, and just create the cluster. So looking at a resource group that I've already built earlier, you can see this one here that has a single master and four segment nodes, SDW one, two, three, and four. And you can see the information on how to connect to your cluster, clicking on deployments, and then clicking on the Pivotal Green Plum deployment here. The inputs show you the parameters that you you chose during the deployment time, but the output it shows you the master IP address, the port, so forth, the password if it's randomly generated, um, then links to like PHP, PG Admin, and Command Center if it's installed. And you can see on the virtual machines of this cluster that I chose to have the public IP address assigned to the master, and you can see it here. If I go back to virtual machines, SCW1 will not have a public IP address. The segment nodes never have a public IP address assigned. That's just to help isolate um, these nodes from, from the internet. So you can, again, you can choose now to not specify a public IP address on the master node. Here is connecting to that existing cluster I created earlier. It shows you the message of the day, shows the version number of the database, the hosts, the usable storage, um, the total number of segments, primary segments. I hope you enjoyed the demo of running Pivotal Greenplum on Azure.